How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody's doing well. So recently my skimmer, uh, which is a Bubble Magus Curve 5, started to uh, make some chugging noises. You know, I could audibly hear it. Normally it's like a but I could hear a little you know, just a little, little hitches in the giddy up, right? And uh, I've had it happen before for a different reason than what this reason for the chugging ended up being. But I figured, you know what? Other people have to be experiencing this. Um, whether you have a bubble magus or otherwise, they all work essentially the same. Um, but I know a lot of people have bubble magus because it's such an affordable skimmer, right? This Curve 5 is only 200 bucks, and it's still operating lights out for me. But when you get a $200 skimmer, it's not like super heavy duty, high end, you know, high, high build quality. So like you gotta, you gotta keep up with the maintenance. I'd say that's step one if you have chugging. Go ahead and stick your pump in some citric acid. Sounds logical, but like you know, uh, you gotta you gotta keep you know a two hundred dollar skimmer going essentially. But if that doesn't work, here's another thought for you. So uh, the first time that I experienced chugging this piece here, where water's drawn in, but then also air. You can see the little air hose dropping into this piece. Um, I'm sure there's a fancy name for it. Uh, it's escaping me right now. I used to know it. But uh, anyway, I swapped in a new one of these. And what I generally do is I'll take a screwdriver and you can see on the interior of this piece, this little air inlet has a little hole on the in inside right here. And I guess this is just a flaw with a, you know, again, a $200 skimmer. But it's very easy for calcification to build up just from the general air and start to block that hole and make it tough for it to draw air. And you know, that difficulty in drawing air, unfortunately does affect the skimmer. Um, and, it, and it can result in chugging, at least in my experience. So normally every week I take a little screwdriver, like a jeweler's screwdriver and put it down in there in the stem and kind of just scrape it around. And that's worked. Um, but I bought a couple extra of these cause I've been trying to buy extra of everything lately as kind of a you know rule of thumb and I was like you know what I've had this on here since you know I, I got this skimmer I'm just gonna put a new one on for the heck of it so this is a new one right here um, however uh, this time around so uh, go ahead and check that if you have chugging that's what I would check first is there calcification buildup um, maintenance maintenance your skimmer regularly and then if there's still problems you know check this uh, here's what the problem was this time. So the little needle wheel that sits inside of a pump, this is a backup pump that I have for my skimmer. It's a little rock SP 1000. So, you know, you can twist this top cap off and sitting down inside of it is this little, this little needle wheel piece. It goes inside the pump and this stem you can see has a magnetic wrap all the way around the outside. And that's how spin is generated on this thing. Uh, magnets whir around inside the pump and pull this little magnetic wrap so that this thing spins and chops up the stream of air to create millions of bubbles, right? How skimmers work, kind of an incredible invention uh, when you really think about it. But uh, apparently, according to Rich and Ben on Reef Beef, these uh, magnets on these things can wear out over time and result in problems. And the problem that cropped up for me on, the, on my Curve 5 was that this had weakened. This is the old one. I have a new one in there that I cannibalized out of uh, this backup pump. So uh, parts like this, guys, like this piece right here is like 10 bucks on AliExpress. I think it's like, you know, I don't know, $18 or something uh, from sellers in the United States. And then this little pinwheel or whatever you want to call it, needle wheel piece um, and, and stem, this whole contraption. This right here is $17 on AliExpress right now. I ordered two more of them to have them as backups. And in America, the cheapest I could find it from an American distributor was $29.99. So... The reef tax in America for American reef keepers, and I'm sure, you know, overseas, the UK, Canada, and, and in Canada, just north in Canada, anywhere really that I found in the Western world, people are getting hit with the reef tax just for just by distributors alone. And I just think that it's BS. Um, I think that if we can go to AliExpress, 
and get this stuff for cheaper and they see a decline in sales, you know, they might be, um, they might be inclined to lower the reef tax a little bit. Like I would have bought this from an American distributor for, I don't know, 25 bucks. You know, I would have thought, Hey, it'll get here in three days. I'll do that. But at $30, I'm not doing it. There's no way it's too much of a premium. So, um, anyway, I suggest like for pieces like this, get a couple of each to have them on, on standby in case something goes wrong. Get yourself an extra pump in case you service your pump during regular maintenance because it was kind of having issues and, uh, you know, citric acid doesn't work and it's just like tapping out so that you're not out of pocket um, or your skimmer's not out of pocket completely for days while you wait for a replacement. But as you can see, um, you know, I was prepared and as such, Got bubbles, got got foam going, uh, going strong. So, the Curve Five continues. Uh, thing is, I won't call it a, a tank in the sense that it can just run and run and run and take this horrible beating. But if you take care of it, if you maintenance it, if you have spare parts on hand for when things kind of wear out, right? Um, this thing can last a long, long time. So just take care of your reef gear. And if you're having chugging problems, I would check in that order. I would just citric acid run the pump if that doesn't work go ahead and check this piece make sure it's not calcified over inside and then if that doesn't work i'm pretty darn sure it's going to be this um and if none of that works you're probably looking at a pump replacement and uh i suggest getting those from aliexpress too because again not cheap in america so all right guys hope everybody's doing well uh just letting you know now that we the reefers is kind of season one's kind of concluded i guess and I probably won't be getting back into that until the regular school year starts in the fall um, or at the end of summer, rather. Uh, I think that uh, whenever I can, I'm going to start focusing on getting some more video out. So um, I kind of miss just, you know, making making relaxed reef videos that seek to uh, inform based on my own experience. So that's uh, this is me on on skimmer chugging. That's that's what I can tell you. So have a good one, guys.